So now that we went over what Medicare covers, let's get into how you enroll in Medicare. So the first opportunity you have to enroll in Medicare is called Medicare Initial Enrollment Period, okay. also known as IEP. During your IEP, you can enroll in Part A, Part B, a Medicare Advantage plan, or a Part D prescription drug plan. The initial enrollment period is a seven month window of time. It begins three months before your 65th birthday, the month of your 65th birthday, and three months after. If you do not have creditable coverage from a current or previous employer or a union, it is important to enroll in both Part A and Part B when you become eligible. As I mentioned, you have an enrollment window that runs for seven months. And yes, while you can enroll in the three months that follow your 65th birthday, it's best to enroll in Part B early, or you could have gaps in health coverage. And if you wait too long, you could end up locked out of Part B and must wait until the next general enrollment period. If you don't enroll during your initial window, you won't lose eligibility for Part B, but you will be penalized with an increased premium when you eventually enroll which climbs 10% year after year okay. until you enroll in your Part B. If you are working past 65 and plan to delay Medicare enrollment, it's suggested that you speak with your employer benefits administrator to determine if you have creditable coverage through the place of employment. If you recall from our previous module, creditable coverage is defined as health insurance that meets or exceeds what Medicare covers. If you have creditable coverage, you can delay signing up for Medicare without penalty. Now, if you lose creditable coverage, you must sign up within eight months. Otherwise, you will be penalized. And remember, the late penalty will increase for every year that you fail to enroll. There are other enrollment periods available as well. That's true. You know, some people choose to continue to work after the age of 65. This is where the Medicare Special Enrollment Period, or SEP, comes into play. You're eligible for these SEPs if you have insurance through your employer, your union, or your spouse's employer. An SEP is open for eight months after you lose or end that current employer coverage. Also, those who already have Medicare may qualify for a two-month special election period with certain qualifying life events. This special enrollment period lets you switch to a different Medicare Advantage plan or a Part D prescription drug plan. You may qualify for a special election two-month period if you move to a home in a new county, if you move to in or out of your plan service area, your plan closes, stops serving the area that you live in, or significantly reduces its provider network. Now, other reasons may include if you move in or out of a qualified institutional facility like a nursing home, you have a Medicare financial assistance such as Medicaid or a Medicare savings program or extra help, or if you gain or lose eligibility for any of these. And finally, if you gain or lose eligibility for a special needs plan, you also qualify for that special election period. Next, we have the general enrollment period, also known as GEP. This is a time period every year from January 1st all the way to March 31st when you can enroll in Medicare Part B for the first time if you miss your initial enrollment period, which you call a IEP, and do not qualify for Part B special election periods. When you enroll during the GEP, your coverage will begin on July 1st of that same year, and you may have to pay a Part B late enrollment penalty. During this time, you can enroll or join a Part A plan if you have to pay a premium for it, uh, or Part B. Now, once you're enrolled in Medicare, you'll have other opportunities to change certain aspects of your coverage. The first is the annual enrollment period. Yes. This is a seven week period each year where you can enroll in disenroll or switch Medicare Advantage plans or prescription drug plans. Now during the annual enrollment period, which runs from October 15th through December 7th, you can make a variety of changes such as switching from one Medicare Advantage plan to another, switching from Medicare Advantage to original Medicare or vice versa, join a Medicare Part D plan, or switching from one Part D prescription drug plan to another, even dropping your Part D altogether. The plan you choose during this enrollment period will become effective on January 1st. Now this is a great time to review health and drug plan choices. Remember, you're not tied to your initial decision when you join Medicare. As you use your current plan choice, you can learn the ins and outs of your particular coverage and determine if this is something you'd wanna continue or change. Now finally, we have the Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment Period. This is a three-month period 
that goes from January 1st to March 31st of every year. When someone who is already enrolled in Medicare Advantage can either switch to Original Medicare and enroll in a Part D plan or switch to a different Medicare Advantage plan. Now the difference is that once you do that, you can only make one plan change during this period, unlike the annual enrollment period where you can change your mind multiple times and the last plan that you select takes effect on January the 1st. That's great, thank you so much.